Well, as the weekend is uh, approaching, almost here, time to figure out what to watch. Joining us now to give us some options is Andy Farnsworth, host of The Movie Show every Friday on KSL News Radio. I guess I'm aware there's like a pretty huge civil war going on all across America. The big movie this week is a fictional tale called Civil War, imagining the final stages of a modern day battle within the United States itself. Kirsten Dunst stars as an award-winning photojournalist who's been documenting the war from the front lines. She's making the dangerous trek from New York to Washington, D.C. so she can be there when the secessionist states close in for the final assault. The cinematography and sound mixing are outstanding in this movie, but it is a difficult watch, and it feels like it's intentionally that way. The reason why the war started, or even what they're fighting for now is never really explained. I do feel like it's meant to be a warning to those who watch it. Civil War is rated R and playing only in theaters. I give it a B minus grade. Another movie dealing with war is called Escape from Germany, the latest from local filmmaker T.C. Christensen. It tells the true story of the evacuation of missionaries for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints out of Germany in the weeks prior to World War II. Elder Siebold is tasked by his mission president to find about 30 elders scattered across the country and get them on trains out. So this was a very well told and emotional story that had me caring not just about the missionaries, but the good people in Germany they had to leave behind to uncertain fates. The limited budget is apparent at times, but I still thought it was a pretty convincing period movie. I give it a B plus. Escape from Germany is rated PG and is playing in theaters. Moving on to streaming, the big item this week is an adaptation of a video game series called Fallout. It's set in an alternative future where nuclear bombs devastated America in the 1960s. Now it's 200 plus years later and some people live in bunkers underground while others live on the irradiated surface. We follow several characters from different places as their stories cross over. This is a pretty exciting series right from the get-go. It's attempting to be very faithful to the video game, so I'm told. I never actually played the game myself. You'll have to have a high tolerance for violence and language, but it is a very immersive world that they build. All eight episodes of Fallout are available to stream on Prime Video. It's rated TVMA. Finally, also on streaming is a new movie called Greatest Hits. It's about a girl who lost her boyfriend in a fatal car crash two years before, but whenever she hears songs she listened to with him before he died, she's transported through time back to those moments, but only as long as the song is playing. Now she's met a new guy, but her connection to the past might sabotage the relationship before it can really form. I really enjoyed watching this movie. It explores grief and the temptation to live in the lost moments instead of living in the present. Great performance from Lucy Boynton, and the soundtrack was on point. I give the greatest hits a B plus. It's rated PG-13 and is streaming on Hulu. With what to watch, I'm the movie show's Andy Farnsworth for KSL 5. And if you want more of Andy's thoughts on everything coming to screens big and small this week, you can listen to the KSL Movie Show in podcast form. It's available on the KSL Plus app, the KSL News Radio app, or anywhere you get your podcasts. All right.